Hello, kids. Hi, Hi Professor. Today, we'll continue to discover multiplication tricks, and we'll look at multiplication tricks by nine. I'll show you two different tricks. Either can be used to find the answer in multiplication. So, let's start with the first one. What is seven multiplied by nine? It can be seen as nine groups of seven items. So to get the answer in multiplication, we need to add seven nine times. It doesn't look that easy. Oh, this isn't the whole trick yet. So to find the answer, we need to add seven nine times. And I agree with you, Kelly. It really doesn't look easy. But what can we do easily? We know how to easily add seven ten times. That'll be seven times ten, and that's seventy. So, we know the answer when adding ten sevens, but we need only nine in this problem. What can we do? Maybe subtract one seven. Yes, you're right. If you know the answer of adding ten sevens, but you need only nine sevens. You can subtract one seven from the answer, so it will be seventy minus seven, and that's sixty-three. So seven times nine is sixty-three. Let's summarize this trick. To multiply a number by nine, you can multiply it by ten and then subtract the number that you are multiplying by nine. Let's try several more examples. What is five multiplied by nine? Five times nine is five times ten minus five. Five times ten is fifty. Fifty minus five is forty-five. So five multiplied by nine is forty-five. Kelly, try to solve twelve times nine. Well, twelve times ten is one hundred and twenty, and then we need to subtract twelve from it. Hmm. One hundred and twenty minus twelve is one hundred and eight. So that means twelve times nine is one hundred and eight. Yes, that's right, Kelly. Great job. Now let's look at another way to multiply by nine. I call it the magic hands trick. To use this trick, put your hands straight out in front of you. Don't bend your fingers. Let's count your fingers from one through ten, starting from the left hand. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the right hand. Now. Let's say that you would like to multiply three by nine. To do this problem, you need to fold down the finger of the number you want to multiply by nine. In this case, we need to fold down the third finger because we are multiplying three by nine. So count the numbers on the left hand until you get to three. Start on the left side of the hand. One, two, three. Fold that finger down. Now let's count the number of fingers to the left of the folded finger. That will be the first digit in the answer. In this case, we have two fingers to the left of the folded finger, so we put two in the tens place for the answer. Now let's count the number of fingers to the right of the folded finger. That will be the second digit in the answer. There are seven fingers to the right, two fingers on the left hand, and a whole hand of fingers on the right. So we put the seven in the ones spot. As a result, we have found that we know what nine times three is. It's twenty-seven. Now let's multiply seven by nine. To do this. We'll fold down the seventh finger, 
So now we have six unfolded fingers to the left of the folded finger and three unfolded fingers to the right. So the answer to seven times nine is 63. Let's try another example. Nine multiplied by nine. We fold down the ninth finger and count the fingers to the left and then to the right of the folded finger. It will be eight fingers to the left and one finger to the right. So the answer is 81. Please remember that this trick can only be used to multiply numbers up to 10 times 9. It can't be used to find the answer to bigger numbers like 11 times 9, 12 times 9, and so on. If the number you are multiplying the 9 by is bigger than 10, you can use the first trick that I showed you. Let's repeat what we've learned today. To multiply a number by 9, you can use two different tricks. You can multiply the number by 10 and then subtract the number one time. Or, if the number is less than 10 that you are multiplying the 9 with, you can also use the magic hands trick to find the answer. As always, you should remember that the order in which you multiply the numbers does not change the answer, so it doesn't matter if the 9 is the first or the second number in the problem. The tricks work either way. I think that's enough for today. Next time, I will show you some more tricks. Hi! If you think that memorizing the times tables is boring, then we have great news for you. You can start a journey to learn the times tables together with our characters through some fun and interesting adventures. You can find a link to our engaging times tables game in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed our video and want to see new ones, like and subscribe. Bye for now!